The Authority Code, written and published by N. Gaslife. Having authority and influence is highly valued in our society. People who can captivate a room with their presence or inspire action through their words possess a unique form of influence. However, authority is not something you are born with. It can be acquired and perfected through commitment and experience. The Authority Code uncovers the secrets to establishing an authoritative presence. We have condensed the insights from influential leaders into a clear and practical guide for developing personal authority. Here, you will discover practical methods for exuding confidence, speaking with certainty, dressing professionally, and other valuable skills. Practical lessons will help you become more confident in various speaking situations from one on one. Conversations to large audiences. This book offers a clear guide to help you discover your inner authoritative voice. By consistently putting in effort, the practical skills and foundational mindsets described here will quickly become ingrained. You will feel confident expressing your thoughts, and others will pay attention to your clear guidance. We have successfully deciphered the authority code. It's time for you to begin rewriting your personal code to become the influential, respected leader you were destined to be. Ready to take charge? Now, let's move on to the next page and get started. Lesson 1. Keep silent until you have something good to say. It's often wiser to stay quiet and let people assume you're knowledgeable, rather than speaking and proving them wrong. There is a valuable concept in refraining from speaking unless we have something meaningful to add. Learning to be silent requires self-control, but it makes our words more impactful. Our society tends to prioritize the amount of speech rather than its quality. Those who speak the loudest often control discussions, even if their points are lacking. Social media has fostered a culture where we often feel compelled to express our thoughts, even if we may not be well. Informed. Excessive talking is often confused with being competent. We often overlook the power of simplicity in communication. The essence of wisdom is often found in holding back rather than overflowing. Good leaders know they don't have to comment on every single issue. They communicate only when needed, aware that speaking too much can weaken the impact of their words. Using fewer words shows confidence and indicates a focus on important matters. Recognizing the appropriate times to withhold comments necessitates mindfulness and self-control. Be mindful of times when you feel the urge to join a conversation solely to participate just avoid giving in to the temptation. If you are unable to contribute meaningfully to the discussion or address the question, it's best to listen rather than responding automatically. Your quietness will naturally attract notice. Be mindful and refrain from making unnecessary comments to fill silence. Be patient and considerate by letting others speak before sharing your thoughts. Take a moment to gather your ideas before expressing an opinion that is well thought out. Listening helps you acquire knowledge that you can use to make meaningful contributions in the future. Being patient can help you avoid making statements that you might regret later. We often feel the need to come across as experts, even when we are not very familiar with a subject. The desire to show off for status is made worse by social media. Pretending to be an expert by providing superficial comments seriously damages credibility. It's clear when someone doesn't understand a topic, but still feels the need to give their opinion. Exercising self-control safeguards your image. Differentiate between thinking to yourself while listening and feeling the urge to speak aloud. Just because you have thoughts and reactions doesn't mean you have to share them right away. Feel at ease within your own thoughts. It is powerful to listen and absorb rather than always expressing your own views. If you speak without contributing valuable ideas, you may silence other important voices. You are hindering the flow of communication unnecessarily. Interrupting others shows a lack of respect for their perspective and suggests that you value your own opinion more. Make sure to allow space instead. Restraint in this situation helps develop discipline and maturity.
Frivolous talk can lead to misunderstandings that can be corrected through meaningful discussion. Rushing to express an opinion without fully grasping an issue can make you seem narrow-minded when additional information comes to light. Certainty can sometimes turn out to be misguided judgment. Avoid any potential embarrassment by refraining from making final judgments until after listening attentively. Consistent meditation practice strengthens the ability to control impulses. When you meditate, concentrate on your breath and bodily sensations without following your thoughts. This helps you observe thoughts without getting attached to them. Here is a model for communication. Thoughts can be expressed without always needing to be spoken out loud. Impatience can lead to talking too much, while wisdom comes from taking time to reflect. Through experience, we come to realize the limitations of our own perspectives. Reality is filled with countless perspectives that are difficult to comprehend simultaneously. Expressing incomplete opinions does not fully grasp the intricate nature of any situation. It's best to gather more information before forming a final opinion. Remember to listen as much as you talk. Expand the ratio further when talking about subjects you are not familiar with. When you talk a lot, you don't listen much. Try to shift your focus from expressing your own views to actively listening without feeling the need to interrupt. Consider holding back comments instead of speaking them immediately. Jot down ideas for later instead of interrupting. Share from your own experience instead of speculating or fabricating information just to fill the silence. It's better to admit you still have more to learn about a subject than to pretend you know more than you do. We naturally tend to present ourselves as well, informed. Showing restraint involves acknowledging areas where we can still improve, instead of acting like we know everything already. Be cautious of opinions that are actually projections. Pose genuine questions instead of rhetorical ones designed to prove a point, rather than enhance mutual comprehension. Asking questions helps us gain knowledge, but debates can sometimes get stuck on the same arguments. Stop worrying about trying to impress others or speaking perfectly. Conversations are more fulfilling when our focus is on learning rather than on how we are perceived. Put your ego aside and listen with an open mind. Make sure to refrain from adding extra thoughts once you have made your point to avoid dominating the conversation. We sometimes keep talking just to hear ourselves speak instead of adding anything meaningful to the conversation. Recognize when your idea is fully developed and avoid continuing to talk unnecessarily once your goal is achieved. Taking action comes before feeling motivated, and speaking up effectively involves first being silent and listening attentively to gain knowledge. Amazing ideas will surface once given enough time to develop within you. However, delivering them before they are fully developed can hinder their progress. Have faith in the internal journey that requires time and patience to reveal its rewards. Feeling the need to showcase ourselves often results in us not exploring our hidden talents. Understanding the power of silence helps your words convey authority more effectively. Speaking always diminishes the untapped potential held in silence. Once we have developed enough content, sharing it at the appropriate time can evoke great influence. Wait for the chances to communicate something significant rather than just creating unnecessary chatter. In a world full of distractions, it's important to practice holding back from unnecessary talking to stay focused. Releasing verbal clutter enhances the purpose and poise of our communication. Develop this muscle by practicing mindful silence. Choose to speak intentionally rather than reflexively. Over time, this will help you establish a strong presence and sense of importance. Your impact grows rapidly because your words carry significant importance. Our speech volume decreases as our contributions increase in value. By choosing to remain silent until you have something meaningful to contribute, you will find that others value your words more. When you speak concisely, others pay attention to hear your insights instead of ignoring them. Embrace the quiet. 
Instead of always seeking external distractions, try to sit calmly and be present without focusing on your thoughts or outside distractions. People who can stay calm and composed show their strength by not needing constant activity to feel comfortable. They take proactive steps instead of responding impulsively. Learning to appreciate moments of quiet can help you develop self-assurance and grace. Always question yourself before speaking. Is this really necessary? Do you find this information useful? Does this provide any meaningful value? Use this rubric to evaluate spontaneous comments. Focus on comments that serve a specific purpose, rather than those that are just noise or posted impulsively. Be intentional when expressing your thoughts verbally. Many times, we talk just to let out nervous energy rather than with a specific goal in mind. Take a moment to focus on your breathing before responding quickly during conversations. Pause to take five slow breaths before continuing. This brings you back from reactive patterns to focused proactive decision-making on when and what to communicate next. Journaling helps you express your thoughts internally before sharing them with others. Writing regularly allows for self-expression without needing an immediate audience or disrupting conversations too soon. Journaling helps you gain clarity on the insights that are most important to share openly in the future. It acts as a place where ideas can develop before being publicly introduced. Understanding how to exercise restraint allows us to uncover profound truths hidden beneath surface distractions. Dealing with initial perceptions clouded by projection and assumption can lead to limited understanding. Patience allows clarity to develop naturally over time. Avoiding getting stuck in arguments that restrict perspective. Make sure to avoid engaging in unnecessary comments that do not contribute to the topic. Instead of immediately expressing your thoughts, take a moment to consider if you have something valuable to contribute right now. Let wisdom develop and refine over time. Lesson 2. You need to create an authoritative look. Crafting a strong visual presence is crucial for establishing authority. Our clothing choices and body language can strongly influence how others perceive our leadership abilities even before we speak. Opt for timeless classics over trendy pieces when creating a strong wardrobe. Choose premium fabrics that are custom-made to suit your body's people's shape. Clothing that fits well and drapes nicely will move effortlessly as you gesture. Look for basic neutral colors for essential clothing items that can be easily matched with more vibrant accent colors to create eye-catching outfits. Be mindful of small details that subtly improve your overall look. Make sure to keep your shoes polished, replace wristwatch batteries when needed, and coordinate cufflinks and tie clips for a polished look. Your attention to detail is highlighted by your well-maintained nails and shaped eyebrows. High-quality leather portfolios and handbags are stylish accessories that can enhance any outfit with a touch of sophistication. Wool suits authority for its flame, resistant properties, symbolizing the ability to rise to challenges without shrinking under heat. Wool helps maintain mental focus even in hot weather. To make a strong impression, wear a wool three-piece suit with a vest, carry a leather portfolio, and accessorize with stainless cufflinks while leading discussions from a position of authority. Use gentle but captivating scents to set yourself apart with authority. A blend of sandalwood, eucalyptus, and cedar, combined with refreshing citrus notes, creates a balanced and inviting aroma. Let your natural pheromones mix with these subtle hints of spice and earth. Leaving behind a trail of scents that will create lasting memories without uttering a single word. Authoritative hairstyles complement the face without giving off high-maintenance vibes. Avoid untidy bedheads or tangled hair that needs frequent combing. Show maturity with natural graying at temples for men or neatly pinned buns for women or neatly pinned buns for women aiming for a professional look. Sharp and precise part lines and smoothly shaped brows enhance symmetry. 
Learn the basics of color coordination to create stylish and professional outfits. Black and darker tones absorb distractions to bring focus inward. Colors like red and purple suggest a sense of movement and energy. Cool tones with a blue base convey feelings of trust and contemplation. Start with a dark foundational wardrobe for a professional look and add pops of color for a stylish touch. Fabric communicates messages on behalf of a leader. Avoid synthetics and blends as they may give off a cheap appearance. Utilize natural plant and animal fibers such as linen, cotton, and silk to create a light and elegant look as you move through different areas. High-quality natural materials move elegantly with your movements to create a sophisticated power suit look. Good posture exudes confidence, even without expensive clothing. Practice moving intentionally through life. By keeping your core engaged, head held high, and shoulders back as your natural posture. Sit up straight while typing and walk confidently through hallways. Make sure to maintain eye contact while you are listening and speaking. Always maintain eye contact to convey confidence and authority using nonverbal cues. Footwear is crucial for achieving an authoritative appearance. Shoes should be kept in good condition, fashionable, and provide comfort to enhance smooth movement. For men, choose sleek leather loafers, monk straps, oxfords, and Chelsea boots in black or brown. Women can rely on low or mid-height heels made of polished leather in neutral or metallic colors. Add the right accessories to complete your authoritative style. Consider purchasing a high-quality watch, a leather-banded one for men and a thin-profile tank style for women. Ensure that your other jewelry matches in style and design. Opt for statement pieces such as compass pendants or globe cufflinks that symbolize personal growth. To achieve a sophisticated look for formal events, have stylish formal attire ready. Be prepared with crisis-proof custom suits, gowns, and polished accessories to make memorable impressions when last-minute prestige invites a rise being ready to dress appropriately when needed boosts confidence in asserting authority. Hats are a fashion statement that can enhance one's appearance by adding height and drawing attention to the face. Wear stylish fedoras and wide-brimmed women's hats with well-coordinated outfits. Brims cut through crowded rooms, parting seas of people, granting you the power to steer discussions from the helm. Wearing hats adds a touch of authority to your look. Simplifying your wardrobe helps you establish your personal style. Get rid of items that no longer reflect the dignified leader you have become. Customize clothing to suit changing body shapes over time and different stages of life. Shop with inspiration from renowned artists who wore distinctive symbols, making them stand out. Create a collection of favorite essential items to craft your own unique signature style. Can clothing determine leadership qualities? Decorating our appearance can help others see us as competent and credible, making them more open to getting to know our knowledge and character better. Establishing a strong image helps gain respect and deference in various situations. Add spiritual symbols to your clothing to enhance your personal authority. Imagine wearing your favorite pieces to boost qualities such as courage, devotion, or justice every day. Feel the luxurious fabrics brushing against your skin as a constant reminder of your life's purpose. Witness how outfits transform into modern armor, enhancing inner light and impacting the world. Learn the basic proportions to capture attention. Follow classic styles. Wear suits with striking peak lapels, watches with big faces and thick bands, and ties that are a bit wider. Strategically positioning large pieces can create a strong impact. Just make sure they are of high quality and match well. Always carry a stylish briefcase to enhance your professional image, even if you don't need it. Leather or aluminum portfolio cases convey readiness for important meetings and help keep essentials organized. A sleek attaché case ensures that your Pakistan affairs are always well organized. 
Use delicate yet captivating scents to set yourself apart with confidence. The blend of sandalwood, eucalyptus, and cedar with a hint of citrus creates a balanced and refreshing scent. Let your unique scent blend with your natural pheromones. Impressions will stay with others long after you're gone. Good posture conveys authority effortlessly, even without fancy clothes. Practice moving purposefully through life by keeping your core engaged, head held high, and shoulders back. Sit in an upright yet comfortable position. Stay rooted while maintaining lightness in your step. Stroll confidently through hallways and rooms. Make sure to maintain eye contact while listening and speaking. Show confidence through your body language. Creating a strong appearance helps in making good first impressions and gaining respect in various situations. Dressing purposefully helps others see us as competent and credible right away. Our substance and knowledge can enhance perceptions at deeper levels. Invest in enhancing your leadership presence. Make it stick in your mind. Lesson 3. Know what to say when you don't know the answer. As a young manager, Claire faced challenges with her confidence. She desired respect but felt overwhelmed by the pressure to always provide solutions when her team approached her with inquiries. One day, her team was tackling a new client case that included technical details outside of Claire's expertise. When the associate posed a very detailed question, Claire's heart rate increased. She was unsure but felt the need to say something remarkable. Claire tried to guess even though she didn't grasp the mechanics, pretending to understand. The associate looked puzzled. I'm a bit confused, she said, her voice trailing off politely. Claire felt her face flush with embarrassment. She realized her attempt to sound knowledgeable was way off. She shifted the topic to avoid the uncomfortable atmosphere feeling like an imposter has been a constant struggle all week, shaking her confidence as the head of the department. An executive mentor named Maria observed Claire being quiet during a strategy meeting. She requested a one-on-one -on -one meeting later. During a coffee break, Claire shared her growing self-doubt following her inability to answer her team's technical inquiries. She was concerned that they viewed her as lacking the necessary qualifications. Maria shared insightful advice. The most effective leaders show confidence in both their knowledge and willingness to learn. Being curious, humble, and transparent about what we know helps build trust and respect. Claire experienced a newfound awakening. She viewed pretense as toxic, diminishing people. Real authority doesn't come from complete mastery, but from recognizing and gracefully accepting gaps in knowledge while striving to learn more. When Claire's team posed a challenging question, she replied, Thank you for pointing out this crucial detail that I need to grasp. I would like to enhance my understanding of the technical aspects here for the benefit of all. This week, I plan to delve further into this as a valuable chance for growth. The team smiled and nodded in agreement. They showed appreciation for Claire's leadership and initiative in broadening her expertise without passing any judgment. She understood that having wisdom includes knowing how to respond when the first answers are unclear. Real authority is being able to acknowledge when we lack knowledge instead of trying to provide false answers or pretending to know just to avoid embarrassment. Being open about your own knowledge being open about your own knowledge, gaps can help you earn respect and trust from others. Strong leaders understand there is always more to learn. When faced with a difficult question that you can't answer right away, remember to pause before giving a response. This shows thoughtful consideration instead of impulsive reactions. Complement the thoughtful nature of their question. More time is needed to thoroughly research and provide a well-thought out response to such a great question. In situations where context is lacking, show confident composure when under pressure. Keep eye contact and maintain confident body language while politely stating that more background information needs to be collected. This demonstrates confidence by responsibly refraining from making assumptions or 
oversimplifying when important details are still unclear. When conversations go off track, steer the discussion back to topics you are knowledgeable about while acknowledging your limitations on the new subject. Consult experts with specialized knowledge in that specific field for the qualifications required to answer further questions thoughtfully, head in the correct direction. Make sure to learn more when you notice a lack of information by asking direct questions. Promising to follow up demonstrates responsibility and consideration for learning about topics that were previously unfamiliar, but now deserve dedicated attention. Emphasize humility by acknowledging that it's impossible for anyone to know everything due to the vastness of human knowledge in various fields. Emphasize that continuous learning fuels your leadership vision. Seeking recommendations for resources to address blind spots that may arise during interactions. When discussions turn to technical topics that may be difficult to grasp, offer a clear and relatable summary that simplifies complex ideas for everyone to understand. This showcases strong communication skills even when discussing specialized topics that go beyond everyday conversations. Exploring innovative ideas and making connections may take some time to analyze thoroughly from different perspectives. Delaying forming an opinion at first does not indicate a lack of knowledge. Instead, it demonstrates wisdom by avoiding hasty conclusions and thoroughly analyzing all aspects of an issue with patients. When conversations move quickly, make sure to listen carefully and take notes on points that need further reflection once the discussion is over. Write down key points to review later in private to make sure no important details are missed. Follow-up shows consideration. When providing insights on long-term projections with limited data, it's important to highlight the uncertainty associated with making predictions. Avoid making predictions. Avoid making precise predictions or being overly confident about future outcomes due to the inherent uncertainty involved. Instead of discussing hypothetical scenarios without a solid basis, let's focus on practical ideas that offer solutions in the present. Focus on actionable steps to make progress based on the current situation rather than dwelling on unanswerable questions about hypothetical scenarios. Learn how to gracefully navigate sensitive political topics without ignoring the questioners. Encourage people to question and then shift the conversation towards practical steps that every person, regardless of their background or beliefs, can take to contribute to the betterment of society. Express togetherness. If conversations start getting too personal, be careful not to overshare as it could make someone uncomfortable. Politely guide the conversation back to safer topics. Politely thank someone for trying to strengthen connections and bring up a topic that everyone can discuss comfortably. When answering questions during open QUEA sessions, combine multiple questions into cohesive responses that address common interests instead of addressing people concerned separately. This shows respect for participants who are being open about areas where they can still grow and learn. In the end, Effective leaders understand that their value is not based on always having all the answers immediately. Show confidence in both your current knowledge and what you have yet to learn. Balance authoritative presence with curiosity and humility. Lesson 4. Try to communicate with authority. Communication that is authoritative comes from viewing interactions as chances to provide value rather than to demonstrate one's worth. Prioritize listening to truly connect instead of focusing on your response. It's important to consider others' perspectives and needs before sharing your thoughts for better communication. Show warmth and direct attention outward to establish a connection. Appearing stern and cold can actually weaken how strong and confident you seem. Demonstrate your full presence by maintaining a relaxed posture and using positive facial expressions. Make sure to lean in slightly when others are talking. Encourage meaningful insights by actively listening with nods and small verbal affirmations like I see or go on. Communicate clearly and calmly at a steady speed. 
You can manage the energy in a room to direct interactions intentionally. The volume should be loud enough to hear clearly without causing any strain. Remember to include pauses between sentences to allow concepts to fully sink in. Speaking slowly adds weight to your words and emphasizes your points effectively. Adjust your voice tone slightly within your natural range. Rich, warm vocal tones attract attention and admiration. Remember to smile gently during interactions to create a positive atmosphere. Steer clear of ending sentences with a rising intonation, as if they were questions. Your confident closing statements project assurance that you fully stand behind your statements. Remember to maintain eye contact while engaging in conversations. This creates a close leadership bond. Remember to occasionally glance down while making important points to avoid coming across as intimidating with constant staring. When you disagree with someone, make sure to maintain eye contact to show that you are open to understanding their perspective. Utilize positive body language and brief encouragements to encourage ideas from colleagues. Make sure to uncross your arms and legs and point slightly towards the speakers instead of away. Take advantage of mirror neurons by subtly mimicking others' posture and gestures. Whisper, ah. Uh. Ah, uh, and yes, I get it genuinely to encourage effective communication. Summarize the main points. Discuss to show that you are actively absorbing the ideas shared, instead of just waiting for your chance to speak. Synthesis highlights the ability to step back from detailed arguments and focus on the main issues. This leadership skill solidifies one's authority. Use evidence and reliable sources when discussing intricate dynamics instead of sharing opinions that are not based on established knowledge. Use research methods and statistics with clear explanations, avoiding assumptions of prior knowledge. Showcase your literary talents by simplifying technical details into relatable comparisons and memorable key points. Counterarguments can be acknowledged without defensiveness to help build trust in the analysis. Address possible concerns by acknowledging opposing facts before reinforcing arguments with evidence. This diplomatic approach is in line with scientific reasoning rather than being influenced by partisanship, emphasizing facts over emotions. Analyze different viewpoints to show fairness, thoroughness, and avoid bias when evaluating challenging topics. Top thought leaders explore different hypotheses and conflicting data to uncover the truth. They welcome criticism of important beliefs because principles are more important than ego. Conversations are most effective when participants use similar levels of formality in their language and speech. Adjust your language to match the people you are talking to effortlessly. Simplify technical language for universal understanding. Using casual profanity can help create a sense of camaraderie through humor in some situations, but in academic and professional settings, this kind of language can diminish the seriousness of one's credentials. Intentionally switch the code. Share stories briefly and make sure they are related to the topic being discussed. Engaging stories capture attention and highlight important points. Be cautious of going off topic and losing focus. Experienced leaders use real life examples to effectively convey important lessons. Skillfully ask questions to steer the conversation in a productive direction. Clarify interpretations to enhance mutual understanding. Open to feedback through invitations to broaden perspective. Politely question inconsistencies using a gentle Socratic approach instead of accusatory interrogation. Bringing together questions helps progress collaboration. Resolve conflicts by recognizing the common needs of all parties involved. Focus discussions on overarching goals rather than people, political stances, or historical patterns. Recall the existing precedents that can be used for those purposes. Align proposed solutions effectively with timeless, guiding missions to satisfy all interests honorably. This leadership rises above conflict. If discussions start to go off track, 
take a moment to address any tensions before guiding the conversation back on course. Encourage everyone's enthusiasm and reinforce good intentions. Emphasize the importance of making progress. Redirect conversations towards practical and actionable ideas to maintain positive momentum. Conclude discussions on a positive note when they are going well, summarizing key points and achievements rather than letting them end awkwardly with unresolved issues. Positive outcomes from the brand boost team spirit and motivation for future success. Discuss further by sharing resources as promised and reinforcing key insights. Thank you for the valuable opportunities for growth and the enriching conversations that have helped strengthen our community. Thank you for the clear and easy. To understand highlights and additional documentation that demonstrate expertise in communication. Aim to inspire and empower others through positive communication that fosters growth and collaboration, rather than simply criticizing or obstructing without justification. Seek out the strengths and possibilities in every one and every role, even if you end up disagreeing. Try to first understand different viewpoints before asserting your own as morally superior. Expands perspectives and strengthens relationships. Easily transition between roles as the discussion dynamics change. Share your ideas first, then make sure everyone gets a chance to speak. Offer an analysis and then combine the main points highlighted by others into a clear summary. Take charge when needed and then step back to give others the opportunity to showcase their talents for the benefit of all. Authoritative communication involves providing more value than you take. Share knowledge, connections, praise, and resources to empower your community. Show kindness in interactions even when discussing difficult realities. Others will likely want to contribute more once they see the benefits of getting involved. Together, we elevate each other. Lesson 5. Show your courage to speak up when others do wrong. True leadership requires the bravery to ethically voice concerns when observing misconduct. Even in the face of societal expectations to stay quiet, ignoring injustice allows harm to persist. Choosing to stay silent for the sake of convenience goes against our values and ethical influence. However, advocating for what is right, even when challenging, garners widespread trust and admiration. When evaluating situations carefully, it is important to consider different viewpoints in order to choose the most suitable response. Make sure to gather all the necessary information before jumping to conclusions about someone's behavior. Having an open mind and clear understanding of the root issues leads to finding solutions. If your judgments turn out to be premature, it's important to gracefully acknowledge your own limitations. Mistakes help us gain wisdom. Document accurately when errors or offenses clearly violate policies, protocols, or people. Current issues are approached positively within the context of company values and social responsibility. This demonstrates a dedication to improving community standards rather than focusing on personal grievances. Provide clear action plans that encourage accountability and the opportunity to make amends. Speak with those directly involved in the questionable behavior before taking further action. This approach reduces defensive reactions and encourages taking responsibility. When approached with care, even strict discipline can lead to stronger connections between people by coming together over common beliefs. We all benefit from being honest and truthful. Provide guidance when lack of knowledge or unconscious prejudice appear to be influencing factors instead of intentional harm. Worldviews are gradually shaped by cultural conditioning. Offer educational materials and focus on demonstrating aspirational principles through personal example. Advancement is achieved through consistent care. If you see discrimination, intervene in a respectful yet assertive manner. Identify the concerning behavior witnessed and clarify why it is deemed unacceptable based on legal protections and institutional policies. 
redirect the conversation towards fair and positive norms to find resolution together. This firm approach helps ease tension while maintaining expectations. When witnessing risky situations, step in cautiously to avoid making things worse. Make sure to maintain eye contact with the aggressor and calmly but firmly ask them to de-escalate the situation. Address them by name and make straightforward arguments that resonate with their values. If you can't communicate verbally, contact the appropriate authorities who are ready to assist by enforcing laws and providing aid. Confront systems when injustice affects entire communities. Not just people. Address any issues through official channels initially. Support calls for change with impact reports based on evidence and suggested solutions. If the current infrastructure only maintains inequality, then courageous, nonviolent civil disobedience can ignite necessary change. Make sure the language used in activism reflects universal dignity, even when dealing with parties that may not reciprocate civility. Advocate for improved conditions fervently while respecting those who may be hesitant towards change or responsible for its implementation. Embracing a principled approach has garnered broad support and led to significant successes. Controversial viewpoints challenging the current state may face pushback and consequences until there is a shift in mindset to embrace honesty. However, conscientious leaders cannot remain silent when oppressive obscurities are revealed. Visionary people are willing to endure temporary confusion in order to progress towards liberation and enlightenment in the long run. In the face of opposition, have the courage to share challenging truths in a respectful and persistent manner until attitudes change. Stay composed during intense arguments, refocusing conversations on human values. Being bold and clear can help break down defensive ignorance. Condition. Minds first to be receptive to revelation through empathy and wisdom's gentle guidance. Seek feedback from all parties after taking steps towards justice. Stay open to feedback that can enhance effective strategies and outcomes in the future. Combine determination with a willingness to learn from the lessons encountered. Uplifting involves elevating and uniting communities through healing. When you're feeling discouraged, look to role models who faced greater challenges but still succeeded. Go back to their memoirs and speeches for inspiration when it seems impossible to achieve collective redemption. Driven by their goals, setbacks are only temporary obstacles. Hope exists where there is righteous resistance. Once systems are successfully challenged and become more fair, update policies to safeguard the progress that has been made. Establish clear measures to promote transparency, oversight, and accountability to prevent regression. Implement routine, independent audits focusing on inclusion and ethics. Incorporate conscious leadership training principles into continuous education. Advancement continues through careful observation. Filtering out quick reactions helps to prioritize thoughtful responses. Pausing allows us to carefully consider our responses before taking action. This aligns words with positive intentions rather than negative reactive states. Remember to take a deep breath when you feel outraged or offended. Direct that energy towards consistent, enlightened action. Choose your battles wisely focusing on urgent threats or serious injustices rather than minor disagreements. Look for peaceful solutions by considering practical trade-offs that may involve making compromises. Good leaders understand that no single approach will please everyone. Emphasize empathy while standing strong for priorities. Once peace is restored, Take the time to joyfully celebrate those who bravely spoke truth to those in authority when their conscience demanded it. However, avoid boasting arrogantly about oneself. Recognize wisdom by learning from others, even those you once saw as opponents, to embrace humility. Promote compassion and forgiveness as both the method and the goal. Having strong conviction and courage creates a bond with historical figures who bravely fought against oppressors. Current challenges require strategic thinking, 
not just courage. Equip yourself mentally to combat the challenges posed by ignorance in society. Begin by presenting facts that lead to justice. Make sure to carefully check sources before sharing information or accusations. Verify credibility to prevent spreading misinformation, regardless of alignment with noble causes. Reflect the same integrity and verification standards you expect from corrupt regimes you expect from corrupt regimes. Truth is more easily revealed when we filter with caution. Sometimes it can be challenging to bear the responsibility of defending unpopular truths when in a position of power. We must continue to assert ourselves confidently, even when others do not immediately grasp why we disrupt their beliefs so abruptly. Be patient as the accuracy of recognizing fruits improves over time. Seeds of courageous dissent continue to grow throughout history's journey towards justice. Lesson 6. Building Confidence in Your Authoritative Self Establishing credible authority begins with self-assurance and a clear sense of purpose. Start by considering your fundamental values, interests, and goals to establish a strong foundation for your leadership. Instead of seeking approval from outside sources, establish clear directions before guiding others on the path. Highlight your previous achievements that showcase the skills you want to be acknowledged for in the future. Think of instances where you effectively led projects, resolved difficult problems, and built trust through consistent performance. Rely on past achievements instead of downplaying valuable experience. List your personal assets that distinguish you as a leader with unique insights and potential. Create a comprehensive list of your creative skills, connections, and specialized knowledge that will help you stand out and make a difference. Identify unique strengths that make your voice important to listen to. And confidently use it to support common objectives. Show warmth. Direct your focus outward and speak confidently from a position of readiness and concern for the community's well-being, rather than being self-centered due to performance anxiety. Helping others develops a strong sense of self-assurance that is not dependent on outside approval. You embody a vision that surpasses people perspectives. Put it into practice. Do not feel the need to apologize for asserting your authority unless a genuine mistake has been made. You are meant to lead using your influence, opportunities, and resources to promote justice and inspire others. Embrace your beliefs confidently while recognizing that there is always room for further development. Advancement is achieved through having a clear goal. Imposter syndrome often occurs as you achieve more causing a conflict between your growing responsibilities and your self-critical thoughts. Understanding that these fears could indicate positive progress towards developing new skills. Confirm your readiness by examining organized plans, previous experiences, and advice from trusted advisors to enhance your preparedness. Oscar Wilde described success as the one unpardonable sin against one's fellows. Luminaries uplift communities by fully activating their gifts rather than dimming their light to coddle egos. Explain your supportive intentions clearly, and then let the results speak for themselves, dispelling any perceived arrogance over time. Stay true to yourself without holding back your brilliance. Numerous successful leaders use their influence in public while also carefully fostering community behind the scenes. They contribute thoughtfully when necessary instead of always seeking attention. Develop humility while maintaining conviction until wisdom allows you to reach a wider audience. Attracting large audiences prematurely can result in losing them if the content doesn't live up to expectations. Politely ignore unwanted comments that try to diminish your authority instead of offering helpful guidance. Critiques aimed at undermining credibility through jealousy reveal insecurity. Think about the sources and why they are sharing information. Stop using unsafe energy sources. Realign with those who see, support, and share the highest vision of your leadership. Display confidence through your body language before focusing too much on saying the perfect words. 
keep your head up and your shoulders relaxed. Confidently enter spaces where you have the right to contribute. Remember to maintain eye contact while you are listening and speaking. Hand movements should be lively but precise. Take up space confidently. Speak confidently in clear, strong, vocal tones without raising your voice. Warm and rich voice projection captivates the audience's imagination. Steer clear of using rising inflections that make your statements sound like questions or uncertain sound like questions or uncertain. Utilize strategic pauses to allow ideas to resonate effectively. Adjust your communication style to connect effectively with your audience and convey the appropriate level of formality for different situations. Make sure to thoroughly prepare talking points for presentations that require an authoritative delivery on complex topics. Organize key messages in a clear and structured manner, focusing on providing context, addressing challenges, presenting solutions, and suggesting actions. Incorporate impactful stories and quotes to enhance engagement. Communicate ideas effectively by using varied vocal tones, controlling the speed of speech, and maintaining eye contact. Embrace the challenge of delivering important speeches or engaging in high-stakes conversations without extensive preparation. Trust your inner resources and conviction in these moments. Have faith in your subconscious mind's ability to combine information. Speak sincerely, focusing on what is most important. Spontaneous moments frequently create genuine connections between purpose, speaker, and community. Deliver your presentation with confidence, regardless of the size of the audience or the reputation of the organization. Keep in mind that everyone in the room was once a beginner looking to improve as well. Present chances to share as a way to enrich the community through group exploration rather than people showcases. We rise as one. When imposter syndrome resurfaces, it's helpful to look at positive feedback from evaluations, mentors, and supporters that focus on your strengths and growth areas. Rather than getting caught up in perceived shortcomings that might make you doubt your abilities, accountability structures show that we are usually more capable than our inner critic believes. Mistakes will inevitably occur, humbling even the best laid plans. Learn to handle embarrassment gracefully when being overly eager leads to harsh lessons about boundaries that demand respect. Offer a heartfelt apology while emphasizing core beliefs. Let's renew our efforts with more wisdom and passion. These minor setbacks build resilience and lead to greater success in the future. Choose to be around people who celebrate their increasing influence rather than those who are focused on protecting their power. Strong leaders create more chances for others to succeed and grow instead of focusing on potential threats to their political positions. Empowering the community can greatly increase personal potential in the long run by combining shared capabilities. Only compare current progress to past achievements by overcoming obstacles that were once considered unattainable. What truly counts is the progress you've made, not how much further there is to go within the institution. Practice patience while staying persistent. Consistent investments gradually compound to lead to eventual success. Remember that when leadership feels lonely, the most important virtue is always present at the top even if it may be temporarily hidden along the way. We are ultimately accountable to our conscience and the community, carrying legacies. What truly counts is how we handle our fate when it meets our true self at the crossroads of life. Leaders deserving of respect walked similar paths initially, encountering uncertainties and rejections before overcoming them. By understanding oneself, appreciating the mysterious higher forces at play, and staying committed to progress, confidence in one's identity grows stronger. We develop into the adept tools needed in this era. Lesson 7. Know when and how to de-escalate things. Skilled conflict de-escalators demonstrate calm and composed leadership in challenging situations. They stay composed in the face of hostility, actively listening before skillfully easing tension. 
they gain widespread respect for their capacity to endure verbal attacks while demonstrating calm strength, particularly among those anticipating or provoking a response. Combat fire with water. Quickly scan through scenes as conflicts escalate. Pay attention to body language, facial expressions, and surroundings that may increase tension. Evaluate safety concerns if aggression escalates without any intervention. Decide how involved to be depending on the connections and seriousness of problem. Adjust de-escalation techniques as needed, ranging from subtle redirection to requesting backup. If you find yourself unexpectedly in the middle of escalating tensions, address the situation directly before guiding it in a different direction. Show compassion for the situations that are causing strong reactions from all parties involved. Make sure everyone desires a solution. Higher purposes should focus on preventing harms rather than getting caught up in determining who is right or wrong about the factors that cause the situation. Act quickly by using de-escalation techniques to prevent conflicts from escalating further. Step in calmly but decisively at the first sign of decorum breaking down instead of waiting for things to escalate and hoping for civility to return on its own. It's best to address conflicts early to improve relationships, productivity, and well-being. Make eye contact with the aggressor first as their actions need immediate attention. When you say their name and set reasonable expectations for calming down, it prompts them to think about their actions and helps them move away from a reactive response. Offer ways to gracefully step back without giving in to the problems causing frustration. Emphasize shared priorities that all parties value to de-escalate intense emotions on calmer days. Identify shared interests such as organizational missions, team goals, or maintaining community harmony. Reframe the current issues to focus on advancing common goals together, instead of getting caught in unproductive venting cycles. Avoid getting sidetracked by past issues that are contributing to current problems. Recognize that history influences our awareness, but focus on the positive opportunities in the future. Let's work together to improve relationships and find solutions collaboratively. We all strive for what is best for our team in the end. This leadership changes perspective from reacting to situations to looking ahead with a vision. Ask questions to clarify any misunderstandings that need to be resolved before discussing the issues, faults, and solutions. Conflict often arises from varying interpretations of comments, choices, and intentions rather than fundamental disagreements. Communicate clearly and compassionately to uncover the truth behind any confusion or turmoil. The positions appear to be less polarized. Body language sends strong de-escalation signals on unconscious levels. Make sure your hands are always visible. Position yourself at angles instead of facing the opponent head. On, simply nod as you listen. Communicate in a soothing and steady manner. Gentle signs of peaceful power replace aggressive words asserting control. Peace is resilient. If words are not effective in de-escalating the situation promptly, nonverbal cues can help in seeking assistance. Establish eye contact with other leaders and subtly shake your head no to convey disagreement with the current discussion. Signaling for backup ensures additional support is ready for intervention if needed. Count on the ongoing support of the community. Provide private coaching to all parties on improving conflict management after de-escalation leads to immediate stabilization. Explain how to identify triggers that cause reactions to be exaggerated. Think of habits that help people control themselves before reacting destructively. Being a responsible authority involves guiding awareness to progress beyond just managing crises. Evaluate situations honestly after conflicts to improve processes and prevent future issues. Consider changing policies, schedules, and power dynamics that are affecting civility. Encourage methods to enhance empathy, communication, and resilience in facing challenges. 
Preventing a problem is much better than dealing with it later. While prioritizing peaceful solutions, there are situations where it is essential to show readiness to use force to maintain security and order as a last resort. Not many should look forward to or accept violence as a normal part of life. However, ensuring the safety of vulnerable communities involves being able to reach them as a last resort. Responsible reporting on incidents informs stakeholders about impairment without revealing the identities of people dealing with private struggles. Being open about the seriousness of issues while also being discreet can create space for growth by reducing the stigma around setbacks. Leaders provide constructive feedback and demonstrate compassion they have cultivated during challenging times. Allow time for healing after processing returns. Provide people check-ins, acknowledge emotions, and discuss potential areas for personal development. However, it's important to consider that statements made in anger may require context and not be taken as a personal offense. Reconciliation repairs relationships that have been strained while achieving greater justice involves focusing on the issues rather than the people involved. Strong leaders handle strong attacks with unwavering composure, turning negativity into positive action. Similar to skilled martial artists who can effortlessly turn their opponent's attacks against them, they have the ability to endure negativity and transform it into something positive. This level of inner strength is truly admirable. Be aware of situations that challenge self-control. Reactive states limit vision by clouding reasoning. Establishing safeguards to promote logical reasoning during times of intense emotions is crucial. Set up reliable feedback loops. Act with discipline as the world requires. Resolving conflicts in a thoughtful manner can help restore faith in cooperative communication, which is crucial for promoting nonviolent diplomacy. Even though we may disagree on the surface, even though we may disagree on the surface, it's important to remember that no person is inherently an enemy. By showing compassion, imagination, and determination, even enemies can discover shared aspirations once the memories of past hurts diminish. Remember your role models who stood strong in the face of challenges without compromising their values or the people they served. Avoid becoming callous, cynical, or indifferent when confronted with hate. Remain steadfast as the tides change. History favors those with unwavering principles, not those who act impulsively, even if it seems justified in difficult times. A strong leader remains firmly rooted in their beliefs, even when others are swayed by chaos. They represent calm and order while other spirits react to disorder. Staying strong during tough times will help you see things more clearly when the situation gets better. Believe. Lesson 8. Be a role model and obey the rules you make yourself. Genuine leaders ethically influence others by demonstrating the credible leadership qualities they want community members to adopt through consistent modeling. They establish guidelines for creating a healthy group culture and lead by honoring those standards themselves. Prior to requesting your teams to adhere to policies and protocols, assess if you are already following them in your own practices. Review manuals and identify areas that need personal improvement to meet all requirements. Adjust behaviors that are overdue to match the established formal rules or informal norms. Make the change by embodying it. Revise old rules that are still being enforced but are no longer the best option due to changes in values, abilities, and circumstances. But strive to innovate using proper procedures to maintain community support instead of imposing decisions without involving collaborative governance. Collaborate and guide as a team. Explain the logical benefits of policies when facing resistance to reforms. Describe how creating new patterns safeguards key interests according to the organization's priorities and social obligations. Demonstrate how increased freedom and organization work together by adhering to new rules conscientiously. Explain the significance of codes. Deal with noncompliance with understanding. 
considering why people sometimes take shortcuts that may seem beneficial in the short term. Highlight the less apparent long-term dangers arising from justified indulgences. Assist lost fellow citizens in coming back to core values by providing a system of support and accountability rather than just focusing on punishment. With new rules in place, there may be awkward transition periods as teams adjust to changing habits that are not yet second nature. Be patient as people need time to understand and implement expectations based on their people and collective experiences, gradually putting ideals into practice. Encourage awareness to help people identify what triggers automatic responses that conflict with current priorities. Are you unsure, tempted, or just tired of making tough decisions? Identifying the root causes helps in finding effective solutions to improve behaviors and meet community goals. Guide based on awareness. Regularly check for any new policies and behavioral patterns to see if more explanations or resources are needed to improve implementation. Ask members directly about the training, incentives, or environmental cues that would help improve integrity consistently. Close the gaps promptly once identified. Be open about your own occasional failures in enforcing rules you established after carefully examining controllable root causes. Embrace responsibility as a chance to demonstrate accountability and strive for ongoing enhancement. Share personal experiences and lessons learned to avoid making similar mistakes in the future by establishing better support systems. No one is exempt from growth. When peers point out areas for improvement, respond with gratitude, professionalism, and a genuine commitment to making necessary changes. Avoid using special contextual exemptions to justify hiding defensively behind communal codes. By adhering to rules ourselves, we gain authority to suggest and enforce improvements on behalf of others when necessary. Differentiate between material and personal aspects of criticism when leaders are accused of rule compliance, regardless of whether the judgments are fair or exaggerated due to misinformation. Distinguish between political drama and actual policies. Admit mistakes, learn lessons, and stay confident in your course without internalizing attacks or getting distracted from driving progress. Controversy often accompanies the process of guiding institutional evolution by updating codes to advance justice or performance. Avoid taking extreme positions by labeling all criticism as malicious attacks on change or all tradition, as obstacles to progress. Both actions push away potential supporters. Provide thoughtful responses rather than reacting impulsively. When there are infractions within teams, it is important to respond with appropriate actions that match the severity and frequency of the issues taking into account the context surrounding intentions, pressures, and other stressors. Compassion leads to deeper accountability evolution occurs through gentle discipline, not harsh crackdowns that can often have negative consequences. Highlight successful instances by rewarding compliance with rules through public recognition, promotions, financial bonuses, and more. Reward honesty wisely by allocating more resources to effective strategies. Make sure to balance the use of rewards and consequences to maintain motivation for following rules and putting in high effort. Update measurement methods to evaluate rule compliance rates using advanced technology such as automated quality assurance audits, anonymous surveys, and data analytics to identify emerging trends. Combine this efficiency with emotional intelligence by valuing staff beyond impersonal metrics. Maintain standards while respecting the dignity of members who are facing challenges. Enforcing penalties on third-party mediators by hand can strain working relationships, so managers should focus on nurturing relationships beyond just temporary disciplinary procedures. Managers provide positive coaching while integrity officers handle accountability interventions to protect group interests ensuring fair distribution of power. If ethical questions involving authorities come up, step back from situations where personal or professional conflicts could affect fair treatment. 
avoid any subtle connections or perceptions of bias to uphold procedural justice principles. Just decisions begin with a clear process. Private agreements that violate public rules, even if all parties involved agree, can weaken the social contracts that hold the community together. Therefore, they are unable to adhere to their principles, no matter how personally appealing it may be to prioritize short-term convenience. Equal treatment under the law is a foundation of moral authority. Building trust through consistency is crucial for effective and trustworthy leadership. Contextual differences are important, but having too many double standards for different groups can weaken trust in shared values. Perceived hypocrisy and selective enforcement can erode the respect that authorities need to implement improvements that benefit everyone. Authorities ensure that rules are based on guiding priorities and principles, not the other way around. Avoid getting too caught up in codes and focus, instead on achieving positive results, by adapting sensibly to today's complex realities. This moral wisdom is best acquired by consistently demonstrating integrity ourselves first, which in turn requires sound judgment. Lesson 9. Be serious and professional when working. Authoritative leaders gain respect by effectively balancing strictness with kindness in various work settings. They stay focused on meeting execution demands by effectively managing emotions while also prioritizing emotional intelligence and supporting staff well-being. Even the most dedicated strategists find moments of joy. Develop a strong understanding of the situation to guide behavior. During collaborative sessions, focus on providing encouragement, curiosity, and support to promote creative risk-taking. When engaging in important negotiations, maintain a firm and diplomatic approach to protect your best interests. Switch between engagement modes intentionally. Establish workplace cultural norms by setting professional standards at the top, which will be followed by lower levels of command. When bosses frequently joke around, their subordinates may also become less serious during crucial times, which can lead to issues. Consistent maturity establishes the tone. Adjust the level of formality by matching language, dress codes, meeting formats, and email communications to the specific settings and objectives being focused on. Very strict workplaces stifle creativity and teamwork, while disorganized ones lead to issues. Personalize the way you demonstrate understanding of people role requirements while treating everyone with equal respect. Implement reliability standards in advance, where meeting deadlines consistently is crucial. Apply emergency exceptions with compassion based on uncontrollable circumstances or exceptional contributor efforts. Recognize that we all encounter personal challenges at times while maintaining productivity. Address unprofessional behavior among staff in private to respect their dignity. Address problematic patterns openly so that groups can understand the serious sanctions being enforced fairly, not harshly. When reporting issues, focus on behaviors rather than assuming character flaws of struggling members. Provide assistance. Make clear judgment calls on ambiguous issues by consistently applying core principles rather than relying solely on personal opinions. Make sure disciplinary decisions are consistent with ethics codes and community conduct norms that are perceived as fair in similar cases. Acknowledge that even colleagues who need to improve their performance still make valuable contributions. Don't dismiss anyone as hopeless liabilities. Growth mindsets explore the reasons behind skills gaps and come up with creative ways to coach people towards increased productivity by leveraging their strengths effectively. Workplace culture deterioration typically develops gradually, with numerous minor issues that may not be addressed promptly on their own. Minimizing unprofessional behavior involves acknowledging the combined effects of numerous small infractions that can lower overall group performance. Despite the numerous cuts, death is inevitable in the end. Deal with minor problems before they become major. If personnel policies prevent dealing with emerging problematic patterns using regular procedures, 
make sure to document everything thoroughly and report through the appropriate whistleblowing channels. Do not ignore organizational dysfunction that could harm the public or peers, even if it may be tempting to stay silent and go along with it. Ensure that credit is shared generously for successes to strengthen team mentalities. Take personal responsibility for group failures that happen under your leadership instead of shifting blame onto the group as a whole. Portray accountability as the flip side of authority gained through accomplishments. Leaders take responsibility for their victories and defeats. Ask for regular 360 reviews to assess leadership effectiveness by reflecting on objective perceptions rather than relying solely on subjective self-evaluations. Anonymous feedback allows team members to share honest opinions, which can help enhance leadership and the work environment. Pay close attention in order to develop. Set up regular people meetings with team members outside of group settings to establish trust through personal connections. It's important for employees to feel at ease discussing professional challenges and offering feedback on workplace dynamics in a way that is specific and focused. Address problems promptly. Ask about workload sustainability every quarter, because giving staff too much work can lead to resentment instead of excellence in the long run. Keep an eye on productivity to prevent burnout rather than just dealing with it after it happens. Realistic requests inspire. Those who are unreasonable are slowly defeated. Reevaluate unrealistic expectations instead of unfairly criticizing workers who are trying their best. Establish sustainable schedules that clearly separate work from personal life for yourself before implementing them within the organization. Being flexible means being available for urgent matters outside of regular hours. Chronic overtime may indicate understaffing problems or overly ambitious project scopes that require reassessment. Start by setting the pace of progress from the top. Just inquire about what you need to do. Simplify web conferencing, document sharing, and instant messaging platforms to prevent technology overload and maintain the efficiencies gained through modernization. Choose straightforward, user, friendly programs over complex, feature, rich ones, over complex, feature, rich ones. Make things simple by matching usage behaviors with common habits. Form allows function. Provide space for introverts who enjoy alone time in a culture that values collaboration. Train managers facilitating engagement styles, optimizing diverse thinkers. Show how performance metrics can illustrate the efficiency differences between working alone and brainstorming in a group. Results should determine means. Allow sabbaticals or project sabbaths honoring long-term high contributors needing rejuvenation from occupational staleness. Support employees holistically, including phases requiring career routine, re-envisioning to prevent skill plateauing or waning engagement over decades. Sometimes serious professionals need playful reprieve from yearly grind. Set the tone, maximizing human dignity across office spaces through equitable language, decorum, accessibility standards, and reporting procedures, upholding civil rights. Then empower ombudsmen, upholding conduct codes independently, so authoritarian bias cannot silence minority grievances indefinitely. Checks against systemic abuses maintain excellence. Balance is everything for sustainable peak performance. Working seriously need not preclude frequent laughter, nor must levity undermine disciplined productivity. Lightened moods defusing tension lead to enlivened motivation over years, then grim, crushing cultures. With care and courage, authoritative professionals develop healthy, integrated workplace cultures where both serious dedication and humanity thrive together. Final lesson, the authority code. As we approach the last chapter of understanding authority, Keep in mind that real influence is developed through a lifetime of learning. Becoming a master in leadership requires more than just mastering a single technique. It involves embodying leadership excellence through conscious words, actions, and character. In this material, 
we have delved into important insights and practical abilities required to create a strong presence in various situations, from making good first impressions to handling conflicts effectively. When you consistently practice these lessons, you will discover a new perspective on your full capabilities. Cultivated authority should uplift communities rather than cater to personal gain. Utilize the influence and respect you gain to serve purposes beyond personal benefit. Guide by uplifting voices from the past and present towards creating fairer futures that benefit everyone. The Authority Code is continuously improved by people who inspire change through their brave actions. May this book help you uncover your innate talents, ready to be expressed through thoughtful leadership. We are excited to see the positive effects your future chapters will bring as you develop further. You have the power to unlock the most important opportunities in life. The doors open when guided by wisdom, ethics, and compassion. As you move forward with newfound confidence, remember to stay dedicated to helping others as you progress. This is not the end of expanding knowledge, just the ongoing process of learning that has been passed down through generations. Let's acknowledge the authorities residing within each other, ready to be uncovered with patience and care. Go ahead and join the bright minds leading the way forward.